Just ah, 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 ah. <laughs> break the switch. Despite the rise in the popularity of minimalism and simple living and the idea of living with less stuff and doing more of what matters, there's still a serious mainstream consumer culture out there. In fact, it's always kind of driven me nuts that news organizations and media outlets always refer to people as in us as consumers. Consumers. The American consumer. The consumer. It always makes me feel like companies just view people as things that are there to consume all of the stuff that they make. That's just our only purpose to them. There are some things that I've done that you might find will help mitigate that pressure you feel to keep up a certain standard or a certain societal expectation of what a good life is supposed to look like. And I'd love to share some of those with you right now. The first thing you can do is really start to reduce your media consumption and pay specific attention to the types of media you're consuming as well. We don't have cable in our house and we don't watch things like 24 hour news and other shows like that that are just sort of designed to get you worked up or just confirm what you already believe. For example, we were at the gym the other day and they were playing two different news networks on two screens that I could both see from the treadmill. And both news networks were reporting the exact same story but the story was spun in two completely different ways, depending on which channel you were watching. And it was incredibly surreal to see that happening in real time. Really, it's best if you can just remove a lot of those things from your life and focus on things that encourage you to consume in a way that reflects your values. Next, let's look at pressure that you may be receiving from friends or family or other people in your life. First of all, it's really important to realize that everyone is going to have a different vision or a different version of success and what that looks like to them. No one vision of success is the correct one. People can find happiness in lots of different ways, but if you have a particular focus on simplicity, not wanting to acquire a ton of stuff, a bigger house, a new car, a lot of the things that are traditionally associated with material success, it may be difficult to interface with family members or friends that don't really get that, that have goals that when you say you don't want them, it sort of challenges them in their own desire for those goals. Personally, I don't think that this is a reason to declutter your friends and family, but I think that it is a great thing to talk about and to allow to slowly evolve as you discuss it and share the things that you've been learning and share the things that you've been really enjoying about living a simpler life. It doesn't have to happen all at once. Realize that it's a long game versus a short game. And finally, the thing that's really important is just to be living proof. This is something I've been reflecting on for a long time now and something I really want to embody is that we can be living proof of what's possible when we choose a different path. And you can do that too, and those results will show up in your life throughout time. The third thing that I've found to be particularly helpful in this matter is creating space for yourself to grow, to flourish, and to really understand what it is that's most important to you. Now, this is sort of like dieting and having a bunch of sugar and candy and chocolate and stuff in the fridge or all around the house. It's just going to distract you and make it harder for you to stay focused on the diet you want to achieve the results you want. Finally, there's really a finite number of influences that you can remove from your life. So I find it very important to bring positive influences back into your life as well. So find community and find people that share your values. I've experienced this myself and I really do believe that the longer you keep showing up doing the things that matter to you, living in alignment with your values and making intentional choices about how you want to live your life, the more people will see that you're happier, that you're more fulfilled, that you're doing interesting things, and they'll want to know what your secret is instead of trying to influence you to do something else. So let that be inspiration for you and I hope that you can use some of these tools to help reduce some of the pressure you may feel to change the way you want to live. 